A couple of days ago, I showed you guys the best way to enter the Cayo Perico Island compound. And if you haven't checked that out video out, I'll leave a link to it in the description below. In today's video, however, I'm going to show you guys the easiest way to leave. I didn't think this would work, but it does. And it's so easy. You don't get shot. So that means you don't lose money. And it's like very quick. So if you guys want to know how to do that, then this video is for you. So what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another GTA Online Kyle Perico Heist video. My name is Saints Fan. And like the problem that I had initially with this heist is that doing the actual actual exfiltration plan involved like running across the island if you, you know, got out of stealth. And then the people, the NPCs, the AI just shoot you and you lose money. I, I hate that mechanic in this game. And it was annoying to get all this money and then lose like a decent amount of it just trying to escape. Well, no longer do you have to do that. If you exit stealthily, this is even easier. But in the case of me and my friends, we, we got through the heist stealthily, but we decided, screw it, we're just gonna run out, doesn't matter. The first part of this process is to run to the front gate. So you're gonna wanna maybe stealth your way to the front gate at least. The funny thing about it is we got caught like basically right when we're at the front gate and you can see the guards are kind of shooting at us and we're shooting back at the guards. But the second the cutscene triggers, all the guards disappear. So uh, as long as you trigger that cutscene, then you're pretty much good. And then you get outside of the compound and I think you can go to the left. Uh, I, I don't actually think it matters which way you go. But you're gonna want to go basically to the back of the compound we go to the right here and we literally just keep running until we hit the sea and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to like the smallest looking cliff the the less steep looking cliff and then just jump into the water you, you're not gonna really lose too much health there if any and then from here i guess if you're in stealth you don't need to worry about diving under the water because if you're in stealth you can probably just swim because we weren't in stealth, uh, we're going to go ahead and dive. The NPCs can shoot you, I think, if you are not too far under. Like, if you're just sort of a little bit under the surface, you can still get shot and lose money. So just make sure if you are diving, you go as far to the bottom as you can go. And of course, for this, you can see I have the rebreathers. I have 20 rebreathers. That's the like the only requirement for this. Otherwise, you're obviously not going to live. Although I do think if you come into the island on the submarine, you're set with scuba gear. Like if you go into the water, you'll have scuba gear equipped. So that may be something if you don't want to buy rebreathers. But rebreathers, you can find those at the ammunition uh, in the middle of it. You can just buy 20 of those and then you'll be fine. And I believe the second you go underwater, they get put on. If not, I think it's like right on the D-pad or G if you're on keyboard. And then you basically just swim. You can actually see on the mini map here. I mean, we're just swimming. It, it takes, you know, maybe a minute to get away. But even though the NPCs, you can see the helis above us. They have some boats above us. They can't hit us. They're not hitting us. And it will eventually end the heist. Although in the case of this gameplay, uh, I wasn't paying attention and accidentally hit G again on my keyboard. And uh, don't do that because it takes off your rebreather and you can't put it back on unless I think you go back up to the surface. So uh, my dumb self got myself killed and we ended up losing like $400,000 of the heist payout. But if you're not an idiot like me, then uh, this should be no problem at all. You can see as I'm just spectating my friends, it will, look at that, trigger the cutscene, and that's it. The easiest way to escape the Kyle Perico heist. So this is just a quick video on Christmas Eve. Hopefully you guys have a great Christmas. Probably won't have a video out tomorrow just because it is Christmas, unless Rockstar has some like crazy secret gift, Christmas gift that they're releasing. But I do hope this helps you guys out escaping and not losing money. Cause I know again, that was one of the main problems I had is like you escape with all this money from the compound, but then you get shot and lose it all. Don't even worry. Just run to the water, dive in, swim away. So thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop it a like and subscribe if you're new around here for more GTA content. But as always, I'll see you all in the next one.